property and liability exposures. We all know property exposure includes loss or damage to facilities, equipment and equipment of others that might be on loan, leased or stored on your premises. In this lesson, we will study meaning and definition of property and liability risk exposures, catastrophic coverages, miscellaneous personal lines coverages, conditions of loss settlement and coverage to mitigate the business loss. After going through this presentation, you should be able to discuss the meaning and definition of property and liability risk exposures, explain catastrophic coverages and miscellaneous personal lines coverages, discuss the conditions of loss settlement and homeowner insurance and personal auto insurance, explain the commercial package policies and commercial property insurance, and discuss the coverage to mitigate the business loss. Property and liability insurance provides property damage coverage against fire and related perils either on land or as well as marine exposure to ships and cargo. The policy will cover items such as residential and commercial structures and or plus the contents, vehicles, watercrafts and almost any other property to preserve the insurable interest of the owner. The concept of risk management as part of insurance promotes innovation to underwrite almost all imaginable risk exposure against any property as long as the applicant has an insurable interest. The property insurance is divided into subcategories which include fire insurance, marine insurance and casualty insurance. Fire insurance was the original name of property insurance. Generally, the fire term is used in the insurance business and does not necessarily mean the coverage is restricted to the fire. Marine insurance or transportation insurance will cover property against peril exposure while in transportation. The insured negligence resulting into property or bodily injury to others is covered under casualty insurance category, also referred as liability insurance. Property insurance policy can be structured to impose limits on coverage. Where such limits exist, the policyholder can exercise the ability of endorsing the policy to eliminate the limit or request for the inclusion of greater coverage of property. Some of the reasons why property insurance can be cancelled include non-payment of premiums, change in the risk insured, Discovery of criminal conviction that increases the hazard insured against. Negligence or omissions by insured that increases the covered risk. Failure to take precautions to mitigate against possibility of losses. The insured business activities changes which increases the risk. Insurance are in the business like any other business and they have responsibility to their shareholders to avoid risk which might jeopardize their going concern. Risk precautions indicate that an insurance company should not insure a catastrophic loss which if occurred in large number over a short time can bankrupt the company. Catastrophic perils such as earthquake, flood, nuclear risk and war which can comprehend large loss within a short time are generally excluded from the coverage. Because of chances of risk occurrence can affect lives of many, insurance companies and the government have stepped up to provide to the market coverage to cover losses for catastrophic risk. The endorsement serves well in areas with high chances of mudslide and earth movement and coverage is essential in areas with possibility of earth sinking because of filled old land mines. A home is an essential investment in the market, can be well protected by carrying enough coverage. A home policy provides wholesome coverage and can be extended to include structures used for rental or for vacation purpose. This is a coverage which provides a one module management console if well endorsed to wrap together different risk. 
miscellaneous personal lines and catastrophic coverages which consist of personal umbrella and excess liability policies, boat owner's policy, yacht policy and personal inland marine floaters policy offer the coverage which fulfills the market needs for excess coverage, boats and yachts and valuable personal property. An umbrella policy provides a secondary coverage beyond the primary coverage. This is an excess policy that covers which kicks in after the primary policy has been exhausted. The umbrella policy can be used to cover what is not included in the primary policy. Commercial umbrella excess liability policy provides coverage for excess loss incurred and covers gaps incurred as a result of oversight on traditional policies. Liability coverage for a boat is endorsable on homeowner insurance policy under watercraft endorsement and a homeowner does not have to purchase boat owner policy unless he or she is interested in including physical and medical expenses as part of the coverage. The coverage on boat owner policy include physical damages to the boat, motor and trailer, liability and medical payments. Yacht policy is used to cover pleasure craft. This may not only insure yacht but may include other types of watercraft such as sailboats and ski boats. Although personal properties are covered under homeowner insurance, the coverage provided is limited by provisions of the policy. Personal inland marine floater policy can be issued as a separate policy known as personal article floater to cover the personal property at the replaceable value. Property insurance contracts usually sets conditions specifying situations and methods for settlement and in handling disputes raised by the insured. The conditions are embedded as part of the insurance contract and are to be followed up to the specification. Appraisal is the condition embedded on the policy and provides regulations to be followed when there is a dispute between the insured and the insurer regarding the amount of loss or the amount of insurance to be carried. An insured cannot abandon a property and decide to claim a total loss when there is no total loss. Abandonment condition allows the insurer to decide the totality of loss and make conclusion on whether the property is repairable or not. When an insured removes a property from the premises to prevent further damages of property from a covered peril, the property is usually covered up to 30 days while still out of the premises. The property coverage turns to all risk coverage and the property is covered beyond the specified perils. The damages coverage amount depends on conditions imposed by the policy and erection of coverage chosen during policy application. By using stated value or valued policy, the parties in the contract can avoid the problem of determining the values after the loss has occurred. The insurer pays full amount based on written appraisal submitted at policy inception without considering depreciation, market value or replaceable cost when making payment. The insured has control to decide on how settlement will be made by weighing on loss exposure and coverage requirement the insured can choose the settlement method to suit his or her needs. The property insurance market is designated for different properties stated in the policy. The most common policies held by almost every household are homeowner policy and personal and auto policy. There is a legal requirement in every state to carry liability coverage when operating a motor vehicle. The motor vehicle liability insurance is proof of financial responsibility and the amount covered differ from state to state. A homeowner insurance policy covers the dwelling and attached structures as described in the declarations. Personal properties are covered under homeowner policy and most policies will provide personal property coverage for up to a limit of 50% of the value of the dwelling. This is a policy which is designed as a whole policy to include limited coverage on injury or property damages of others. 
The personal auto insurance liability coverage is a legal requirement by almost every state and pays for injuries or property damages of the other party. The liability insurance does not cover the vehicle or the passengers and driver of the party at fault but covers damages and medical expenses of the other parties in an accident. Collision coverage will pay for car damages caused by impact with other objects such as pole, wall and tree or rolling of the car. A greater coverage on own car is available through other than collision coverage which is referred as comprehensive coverage. Because of significance of home and personal auto vehicles in people's lives, both policies provide opportunities to purchase greater coverage far and beyond the standard policies. The standard policy should be regarded as the minimum insurance required for every policy owner. A wider coverage requires dissecting the risk exposure to customize and design a policy suited to fit the individual needs. The final output policy should be determined by the unique needs of the applicant. Commercial auto policy is a coverage purchased to cover business auto which includes private passenger automobiles, trucks and trailers. There are four coverage forms offered through business auto policy. The forms include business auto, business auto physical damage, coverage damage and trucker's coverage. Business auto coverage form is similar to the personal auto policy and includes coverage for physical and liability coverage. Automobile related business such as gas stations, car dealerships and parking garage are excluded from business auto coverage form and are insured through garage coverage form. Business auto policy does not cover liability arising from operation of mobile equipments such as air compressors, sprayers, pumps or generators. The business auto policy can be purchased to provide liability coverage for owned vehicles, hired autos and non-owned autos. The business policy auto can be endorsed to include medical payments to pay for medical expenses resulting from car accidents and for funeral expenses. Tailored policy can reduce the coverage gap and save the company headache of financial burden from damages caused by vehicles. Commercial inland will cover variety types of property which include equipment, merchandise and property of other customers. The coverage covers movable property whether the property is usually moved or not. The insurance follows the equipment as the equipment is moved from one location to a different location. The inland marine insurance, which is sometimes called floater, is widely used in construction companies which are required to move construction equipment from one job site to another. Inland marine coverage contains standard forms which are referred as filed home. Filed forms are used to cover properties which risk do not vary from property to property and can be class rated together. Filled forms are usually written for open perils and some will even include the coverage of earthquake and flood because not all inland marine exclude earthquake and flood. Accounts receivable coverage pays for research and the cost of reconstruction for accounts receivable documents when the accounts are destroyed by a covered peril. Every business should assess the risk and determine the insurance gaps which ought to be covered through commercial inland marine policy. Through assessment, the best coverage can be requested. Business have option of buying different types of risk coverage under a combination of one package. Buying different coverage under one package reduces the potential for coverage gaps and simplifies administrative procedure because the different coverages are provided in one policy by same insurer. Commercial package policy just like the other policies are governed by conditions. The first insured has the right to cancel the policy by issuing a written notice to the insurer. The condition is governed under notice of cancellation 
or non-renewable. Premium basis condition places the responsibility of the paying premiums on insured and gives the insured the right of refund on premiums. In order to mitigate loss occurrence, insurance a give right to examine the books and records of a business and perform audit to determine the fair premium on business or to discover information in relation to claim and coverage during the policy period or up to three years after termination of policy. Commercial property policies include two sections. These are a coverage form and a cause of loss form. Coverage form defines the property covered and specifies the valuation of the property such as replacement value or cash value. The loss form defines the perils included and those excluded by the policy. The form indicates the types of coverage which can be executed to mitigate normal loss on property and business income because of distraction in operations. Coverage can be issued as separate or included as bundle with other different coverage. Builders risk coverage insurer real property while under construction. The coverage is written depending on ownership of the building during construction. Hence the policy owner can be the contractor or the owner of the building. In order to sustain operation and safeguard the business against the unpredictable cash drainage likely to cause distraction on working capital, a business can escape the unpredictable stress of extra expenses while restoring back operations because of property loss. Extra expense coverage is the tool which will cover any necessary cost incurred during restoring period. The policy pays for the difference between the market value and the lease agreement when the insured is forced to relocate the business to a different location because of building damage from occurrence of a covered peril. Cover property of others such as property in care of business direct loss or damage including loss of use a business can acquire legal liability coverage the insurance applies if the insured negligently caused damages to property of others a business should weigh its financial stability to determine how long it can be able to hold on operation after unpredictable shakes the cash flow operations businesses which do not have an emergency fund ought to consider coverage to ensure continuation of, of operations after occurrence of loss. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Marine coverage is divided into two types, ocean marine and space marine. Right or wrong? Wrong. Catastrophic perils such as earthquake, flood, nuclear risk and war which can comprehend large loss within a short time are generally excluded from the coverage. Right or wrong? Right. Earthquake coverage covers damages caused by earth movement, mudslide and earth sinking. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Property and liability insurance provides property damage coverage against fire and related perils on land as well as marine exposure to ships and cargo. The policy will cover items such as residential and commercial structures and or plus the contents, vehicles, watercrafts and almost any other property to preserve the insurable interest of the owner. A home policy provides whole sum coverage and can be extended to include structures used for rental or for vacation purpose. This is a coverage which provides one module management console if well endorsed to wrap together different risk. Miscellaneous personal lines and catastrophic coverages which consist of personal umbrella and excess liability policies, boat owners policy, Yacht policy and personal inland marine floaters policy offer the coverage which fulfills the market needs for excess coverage, boats and yachts and valuable personal property. 
An umbrella policy provides a secondary coverage beyond the primary coverage. Property insurance contracts usually sets conditions specifying situations and methods for settlement and in handling disputes raised by insured. A homeowner insurance policy covers the dwelling and attached structures as described in the declarations. Personal properties are covered under homeowner policy and most policies will provide personal property coverage for up to a limit of 50% of the value of the dwelling. Commercial auto policy is a coverage purchased to cover business auto which include private passenger automobiles, trucks and trailers. Commercial inland will cover variety types of property which includes equipment, merchandise and property of other customers. The form indicates the types of coverage which can be executed to mitigate normal loss on property and business income because of distraction in operation.